This is like a four pounder. Oh my God. There's no way. She was right here. <laughs> Let's go. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel, to the tundra, to Texas. We are actually just getting out with a few hours until sunset doing something a little bit different we're just gonna go at this thing with not too much of a plan this evening we have a muscle rod with a jig and we have a go-to rod with a spinner bait i just checked out the bass forecast app and it says there's almost no chance of catching a fish it's like a three it's like a poor rating to catch fish today apparently based on the moon cycle and this that and the other right but i had this weird feeling that i might actually catch a big fish tonight i don't know why Let's see if we can find one lurking out here as these water temps are cooling off and get it to bite Well, I'd say that's a pretty good one. I'd give that a solid three plus right there. Well, the hunch seems to be correct. Uh, that was first cast. That's a good fish. We will see you, Bubba. Well, y'all, we got the one good fish last night, but it wasn't quite up to our expectations. It is now day two. That is right. We just caught the one like three, three and a half on the jig. And now we're at a sketchy little location downtown. I wanted to hunt around and find some new water to fish hop some new ponds for you guys because i always have a blast doing that i've got two fly rods two casting rods i don't know what i'm going to be doing i'm parked right here off the street downtown in a lot that says tenants and customers only towing and forced blah 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 i'm in a compact car spot but you know i got the mirrors folded in so it's kind of compact regardless hopefully we can find some fish and some new water y'all it is day two let's have at it i think i found the secret entryway i give this about two minutes before i get asked to leave yo check this out this is cool no way get out of here if i catch a fish i think i had a fish i got a fish oh my gosh a fish had it he's not gonna come back i just had a fish he's got it i got a fish this is a good fish oh my gosh oh my gosh i yo this is like a four pounder what there's no freaking way yo this is like a four pounder. No way. There is literally no way. What? Okay, just kidding. It's like a three pounder. But what on earth? He was right here. <laughs> Let's go. Holy smokes. It's gonna be a good day. I'm dropping down the juice for some more. Let's let him go in the deeper water. See you, bud. Perfect dive. Let me check this line. See, there's like a little fray here. I ain't got time to worry. That gives me high hopes. The first fish out of here is a three pounder. What else we got back here? I got people eyeballing me inside these businesses. I should probably make a move. All right, ladies and gents, Bryce has showed up. We're rigging underneath the uh, gazebo. This, I think this is actually called a pergola. <laughs> we're, we're rigging underneath the pergola and I'm switching things up because I didn't realize the water was so clear. I just tossed on my Ray-Bans, the old polarized shades, and dude, the clarity is next level in here. So with that, I'm switching up to something a little bit more natural that I think will get more hits than that black and blue jig. And if I'm wrong, we can retie it, but this is just what the signs are pointing towards with this clarity. So green pumpkin purple, a little bit more subtle. I expect a lot more hits. We'll see what happens though. I've been wrong before. Well, we just had some GoPro issues y'all, but we got the second one. Don't think this catch was on camera, but we got him out here by the fountain. Green pumpkin purple bandito bug. Let's see if we can get some more. This is iPhone footage, I apologize. We're gonna let you go, bud. Okay, so I just got done filming that, and I'm pretty sure the GoPro is rolling. I don't know why it decided to glitch out. It loves to do that at the opportune moments. Back in the game. Let's re-rig this bandito and catch us another. Hey, bro, you got a key to the gate? Shit, so, yeah, I'm about to get my ass kicked up out of here. <laughs> they be tripping out here? Look, I didn't see y'all. <laughs> hey, so then what's the easier way to get to this house? You know me, you know I get wet. <laughs> Shoot, maybe there ain't no fish in this one. Well, y'all, we made it. And I gotta say, these ponds, this might be the best scenery of 2021 and 2022. <laughs> this place is crazy. Just switched over to a natural crack and crawl. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. <laughs> I was over there trying to check fish brain, make sure there's still some fish out here. <laughs> right down the middle, Texas rig. There we go, y'all. Sick. There are some fish in here. This is insane. What a spot. What a beautiful location. Sometimes you gotta go investigate and find new places, man. Look at that fish. 
beauty on the crack and crawl. Holy smokes. Let's keep it going. I was on my phone. Oh, Bryce is on. Oh, I got one. Doubled up. All right, three bass in three minutes. I'll take that. See ya. This is insane. What is this place, man? Oh, he got a bass. That's a good one. All right. All right, Bryce is on again. I'm walking over to the next one. <laughs> Every pond looks crazier than the last. What on earth? Look at this little, well, y'all probably can't see it. I got these shades on, but there's a little bit of cover right here. Maybe something hanging out and maybe not. Oh, he's got it. Oh, wow. Well, that was funny. Well, the little ones are in the little ponds, I guess. Well, we got us a young buck. I had to let him eat it for a minute. See you, bud. Might be getting kicked out. I don't know. Bryce is getting talked to by the homie on the cart. Hey, don't even tell me he said where the juice is at. He showed in. No way. He said good on top water. He said, but the biggest ones that he's seen come out of the one that's over here. Yeah. You can't have it. I know it looks like a toy. But... <laughs> Man, I should have brought the fly rod in here. Look, there's another catfish. Or is that a bass? Bass. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. You gonna eat it? Dude, it's cool. You can see him from up here. He's coming for it. He's got, look, he's look, he's nosed up. Oh my gosh, dude, it's like a two pounder. Dude, he's on it. Gotta recast and get this guy. He's like nosed up to it. Oh, circle around. This bass is eyeballing it. Why is he not going for it? You got a bandito bug? Come catch this. He's over the crawl. Yeah, now bring it in, 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 let it drop. He's, he's turning around on it, but he's not gonna probably eat it. He's been real finicky. He's not hungry, I guess, but dude, that was, you threw a drop shot, you'd get him. I still see him. He's just like 15 feet out. Oh, bro, another good one. Oh, he's coming over, eat it. Dude, you can see the outline of these fish down here. Oh my gosh, I gotta throw something else, dude. They're not about to crack and crawl right now. What is happening? That was a bigger one. Oh, okay. You wanna, you wanna get him for me? <laughs> hold on, hold on, man. Don't, don't, hold on, don't snap your line. Oh my God. Don't high stick them now. <laughs> yeah, I think we might head back to the other ponds, y'all. Uh, the size has dwindled. Interesting. Further we get. Bryce, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't even look that juicy over here. All right. He says hit the fountain. Let's do it. Look at this house, dude. This one right here, like, looks like an Italian restaurant to your left. Like, five star dining on the patio. What are you doing? <laughs> dude, small fish over here in the bigger ponds. I would tell people to fish the bigger bodies of water because you think it's a larger ecosystem and habitat. Really? Sorry for the uh, the noise coming from the fountain, but apparently this is Dinkville. Biggins only. only, he says. Bryce ain't playing. This is where we cut to the next pond. <laughs> Instagram, I need to know which one of y'all lives in here. I would love to become your best friend. 23, baby. <laughs> if y'all are new to the channel, I tie a Palomar knot, by the way, for most everything, except for kind of like punching. And you know, sometimes there's a specialty knot you need to tie with certain rigs, like a drop shot. Well, well for that, I kind of use a Palomar as well, just to kind of like a varied up. Anyways, a Palomar knot's what I'm rigging up here. Strength for days, easy to tie, gets the job done. Western. Western, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Tell you anything? Uh, well, not yet. You know, we're first time visitors. <laughs> Dude, the, the biggest ones we've caught today were in the one by the apartments. Hey, thank you. Yes, I found that. There's one right over here for sale for 1.17. Looks yep. like three bedroom, two and a half bath. 1.17. Wow, mission success, dude. Well, y'all, what a day it has been. Holy smokes, identifying and fishing some new spots for big fish right out of the gate, too. We just got lucky casting that jig in the businesses before we really got on some numbers, but nothing crazy after that. Anyways, Bryce just took off. We split. I'm down here in downtown and figured, look, I'm going to hit traffic on the way back anyway, so why not explore a little bit more? And look at what we have found, ladies and gents, a, another hidden gem. Actually, it's kind of in plain sight. Maybe it's not really hidden. This thing looks so good, though. I'm just thinking to myself, it might be time to make that one more cast, we always say. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it over to the fly rod. I'm so thrilled with what we've got done on the casting gear today that uh, I'm good on that. So it is at this point in time, I'd love to point out if you're in the market for some new Guggen merch, Guggen baits, which you see slay, or the rods, 10% off is what I can save you with code Weston at checkout. Grab you some for the holidays and get out there, have some fun, catch some fish now. It's time to fly. The question now becomes, do we want to throw the big rig or the tiny dude? I could even go with something in here. Here we go. Here's my little game changer. So this could do it. Here's a little comparison of the two colors on those game changers. I'm going to throw that more bone colored one. There's a John boat here. Well, this day's getting crazier and crazier. A John boat. Very interesting. Looks pretty clear. I like this. I wonder how deep it is. Last spot was a bust, y'all, but 
get your waders out because I think we have found a creek. I just don't know how to get down here. Looking a little sketchy. Saw some fish in there though. This is crazy. Well, what I'm realizing is there's fish everywhere. And the fly I'm throwing is too big. I have more in the truck, but that doesn't really help me, does it? I think everything I have in here is larger. Dang it. Oh, I have this. Look at that. I don't have tippet though. That's the problem. I don't even think I could tie that on if I wanted to. My leader's like eight pound and that's like the smallest little... Gosh dang. All right, well, we're gonna have to come back and fly fish the creek. Well, sadly we didn't get on them in the creek on the fly, but we're gonna take some smaller flies back there and definitely get on some. If we don't go to another creek in general, just because uh, fly fishing more creeks is in the future. But an excellent day when it comes to casting gear catching the bass. The Juicy Jig held it down, black and blue, as well as the Texas rig, green, pumpkin, purple, just it's been catching us so many big bass this year. Speaking of, we may go hit Lake Fork over the weekend, so do not forget, hit the like button and turn them notifications on so you don't miss it should we make our way out there. We're gonna be fishing off the bass boat a bunch here soon. We need to go visit some more PWF properties. I got a mystery tackle box slam coming y'all's way. I just got that thing wrapped up. It's a multi-day challenge, catching fish on every bait out of the box. I haven't completed a full mystery tackle box slam in a little while, so we're gonna treat y'all to that one, and we got a lot more fly content coming soon as well. We got new combos, we just put some line on today and we're going to break those things out for our first impressions on the water very soon so with that we'll catch you all on the next episode till then Peace.